Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to St. Stephen's Cathedral this afternoon. I invite you to stand as we welcome our bridal party.
grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, welcome to everybody here on this bright Friday afternoon, bright outside and bright inside with uh, an array of, of colours that show both the, the cultural backgrounds of, uh, of your heritage and also the colour of... Um, people's excitement for you as they gather today to surround Sharon and Patricia uh, as they commit their love to each other uh, for life. And so uh, welcome to everybody. I, I believe some have travelled from overseas to be here today. So a special welcome to those who have travelled from far and wide or those who have travelled from around the corner. Uh, I also understand we're live streaming today. So if you're watching in uh, other parts of the world, we, uh, we welcome you as well. You have nurtured Sharon and Patricia in their individual lives and you have nurtured them as a couple in their relationship. And here today they're willing to stand before their family and their friends uh, and commit themselves to mutual love uh, into the future. So enjoy this afternoon know that everybody here surrounds you with their love and good wishes and their prayers, uh, not just on this, your wedding day, but on every day that the future holds for you. So enjoy, relax, and uh, receive their love and, and good wishes, and rejoice in the love that you have for each other. Sharon and Patricia, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you to go with your families and friends as today in the presence of God our Father you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Together let us proclaim the glory Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for Sharon and Patricia. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let us be seated now to listen to God's word as Albert comes forward for our first reading.
a reading from Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from the soil, the Lord God fashioned all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helmet suitable for man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man fall into deep sleep. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and enclosed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. The word of the Lord. Then we'll come forward for our responsorial psalm. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Judith will come forward for our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You are God's chosen race, his saints. He loves you, and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive each other as soon as a quarrel begins. The Lord has forgiven you. Now you must do the same. Over all these clothes, to keep them from them together and complete them, put on love. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this that you were called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. Let the message of Christ, in all its richness, find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God, and never say or do anything except in the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand together as we welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God will live in us in perfect love. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So here on this bright Friday afternoon, we have two bright faces here before us who are witnesses to us of God's love and care. Here in the cathedral, there are three main entry points and they all have symbolic names. One is called the west door, the main door at the back. The one over this side that many of you would have come in through was is known as the south door. And the one over this side is the north door. They're not really facing west or south or north, but it's part of the symbolic geography, if you like, of this space. Relationships, too, have a symbolic geography, if you like. The way in which Sharon and Patricia, you have grown your relationship, the way in which you have got to know each other, the way in which you understand each other, the way in which you plan for the future by standing here today, all is a sacred and symbolic geography, if you like, of your relationship. And like these three doors, there are three great doors that you'll need to continue to enter in through in your life together, time and again. And those doors have not a geographical name, but a very human name. Someone once said, the three great words of married life are please, thanks, sorry. And they're the three great doors of your relationship that you'll need to continue to carry each other through the, through the fresh threshold. Please is a simple statement, but one we can so easily forget. We human beings are very good at taking one another for granted, particularly those that we're closest to. And saying please is a recognition of the other. It's a recognition that the other person is not me, but has their own unique dignity. And so to say please is to respect the other and to always acknowledge the other, that the other may have a different perspective, a different point of view, a different set of expectations. And so to say please is to continue to honour the other. And that's the first great doorway. The next is thank you. It's a sign of gratitude. 
and gratitude is one of the fruits of love. When your gratitude for one another begins to run dry, it's a sign that there are things you need to talk about, things that you need to discuss and work through. But to say thank you is the voice of gratitude. So may your relationship always be a source of gratitude for you both, that you are thankful for the blessings in your life. And that's always a way of keeping and maintaining a healthy relationship with each other. The third great doorway is sorry. As human beings, none of us are perfect and no relationship is perfect. And no doubt, even up to this point, you've ne needed to work through times when you've disappointed one another and hurt one another. So to say sorry is to acknowledge simply that we are human beings and the people that we love the most can often be the people that we hurt the most. But no hurt is unbridgeable. When we turn to the other and in sincerity of heart say sorry, it is to acknowledge that all relationships will need healing from time to time. So Sharon and Patricia, these are the three words that you can build your life together upon. Please implies respect. Thank you acknowledges gratitude. Sorry opens the door to mutual tenderness. So respect, gratitude and mutual tenderness lie at the heart of what you promise each other today. Choose these three words every day and you will live uh, and your life and love together will be enriched, making each day special in its own way, giving you joy when you are blessed and strengthening you when times are bleak. As you set out on this life together, may others see in you both the power of love at work, a love that is respectful and grateful and tender, just like God's love for us. Sharon and Patricia, you come together in the house, into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever 
and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Sharon and Patricia, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honour each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, I ask you now to join your right hands and declare your consent before God and God's church. I, Sharon, take you, Patricia, to be my wife. I, Sharon, take Patricia to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise you to be faithful to good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love you and honour you all the days of my life. Love you and honour you for the rest of my life. I, Patricia, take you, Sharon, to be my husband. I, Patricia, take you, Sharon, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honour you all the days of my life. To love and honour you for the rest, for the rest of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now bring forward the rings that are a sign of the love that binds them together. There's also a, a chain to be brought forward. Yeah. It's, it's on there as well. Lord, bless these rings and this chain, which we bless in your name. Grant that those who wear them may always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace, goodwill and love. Through Christ our Lord. As we place the necklace around Patricia. It can't come off. It won't fit. We didn't practice this bit. <laughs> it's not going to fit. It's going to ruin. Can you help, Pia? It's not going to work. It's too. It's too tight. It's dark. Okay. It's dark. Yep, all good. It's hot. Can I just wear it later? Or no. no. It's tight? Yeah. yeah. This is a. Hopefully, the rings are easier. I got them still. The ring. You gotta give it to. Her. That's mine. Patricia, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Patricia, take this sign of love and my fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Sharon, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Sharon, 
take this string as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the and of the Son, the Holy and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Thank you. Now, after our attempts to put the necklace on, <laughs> uh, it might be a time to, uh, 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 to reassure everyone with, a, with a se a sealing these promises with a kiss. Let's congratulate them. It's okay. We'll fit it. We'll fit it. <laughs> You're in luck, Sharon, because uh, they, they missed the kiss at that point. So you might have to do it all again. Yeah, we get the <laughs> you only get three goes, that's it. Three strikes you're out. This is the temporary thing for the chain. Okay. We now have a temporary chain. I think the best thing to do now is to pray <laughs> after all that. I invite Xavier to come forward to lead us in our prayers of the faith. We have listened to the word of God and know that the Lord is present at this exchange of vows. Let us now ask God to listen to us, to bless our words of prayer, which we offer for the people of the world. <clears throat> for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the bishops and the clergy everywhere, that they may lead us to deeper faith in God and a stronger love for others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders of government, that they may, that they may be effective in achieving peace and eliminating poverty, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married people, that they may continue to give, be able to forgive, and find happiness deepen with the passing of each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Sharon and Patricia, now beginning their life together, that they may have divine assistance at every moment, the constant support of friends, the rich blessing of children, a warm love reaching out to others and good health until a ripe old age let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, lonely, discouraged, or oppressed, that they may be strengthened by God's help and aided by their friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially the relatives and friends of Sharon and Patricia, and, all, and, of, and of all present at this nuptial mass, that they may enjoy perfect happiness and total fulfillment, and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, you are the creator of all that is good. Listen to these prayers which we make with trust in Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen.
sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Our good and who all his church. Show favour to our supplications, O Lord, and receive them with a kindly countenance. The oblations we offer for these your servants, join now in a holy covenant, that through these mysteries they may be strengthened in love for one another and for you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as, as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of our, your praise. Without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We stand together and united as one family now at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Having witnessed their promises to each other, their exchange of rings, we now seal that commitment with God's blessing upon them. As we ask for God's continued care and, and guidance for Sharon and Patricia, as they embark on their married life together. I invite you all to share in this blessing by extending your right hand towards them as a sign of, of your blessing upon them. Let us ask God for his continued blessing upon Sharon and Patricia. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray to you for this woman who today is united with her husband in the sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon her and her husband so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love and enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us turn now and offer each other a sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favour what in your providence you have instituted, so that to make of one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice, through Christ our Lord. We now conclude with the solemn blessing. I invite everyone here to respond with a hearty Amen at the end of each of these blessings. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus, who was a guest at the wedding in Cana, bless you and your families and friends. Amen. May Jesus, who loved his church to the end, always fill your hearts with his love. Amen. May he grant that as you believe in his resurrection, you may wait for him in joy and hope. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down and rest upon you today and always. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that concludes our, our nuptial mass this afternoon. Sharon and Patricia will now sign the wedding papers as I invite those who are witnesses to come forward. Please be seated.
welcome Sharon and Patricia Ramanathan.